right, and welcome back. So, it looks like I'm going to lose another protectorate because the Britons are going to take out the Germans. That is their last settlement, and there is nothing I can do to save them. And they don't exactly have a sizable garrison here, so the Britons are going to take that settlement, just period. Nothing I can do about that. That will leave only the Dacians as a protectorate of mine. Again, not sure how useful they were anyways, but I feel sort of annoyed now that I had them, that they're just kind of disappearing. As I think I mentioned in a past episode that the Thracians decided to side with the Greeks. They're no longer my protectorate. They decided to side with the Greeks. I, I'm, sure, I'm quite sure I mentioned that. But if I didn't, I have now. So anyway, um, what's his name? Lucius and Marcus are moving in to take the Britain's territory here in Germany. Or I guess German tribe territory. I, I, I don't know. German Germany. I think this is Germany, vaguely. All right. So other than that, um, this turn, we've got to relieve the siege of Alessia. And I've got Vibius here, who's going to go ahead and knock out that Briton force there. And then we're going to go ahead and continue marching north to take the fight to them. Now, to take the fight to the Spanish, we're going to have to come up with another army. So the mercenaries that I was going to send to replenish Vibius are instead going to be the start of a third army, which is going to be commanded by Manius Julius over here. You see he's returning from his uh, brief stay in Limonum. He was the one who led the garrison in that, you know, glorious encirclement of that small garrison. Uh, Gallic force that was out there. So he's going to return and take command of these mercenaries as well as some more like cavalry and infantry units and war dogs and what have you. It's going to be like another hybrid sort of army like the other two that we've got and we're going to send it over here against Spain. Now I think I can take the garrison out of here though and actually eliminate this force this turn. Uh, or at least I, th I think I can. We're going to give it a try anyways, because I think if we wait for this force to join up with them, then we'll just be badly outnumbered and I don't want to wait. So, relieve Alessia and uh, have no Narbo Marsha's sally out and try to take them out. Those are the two battles this turn. Of course, with that third army, that only leaves the Numidians without an army of mine to go and beat them up. And I was avoiding fighting in North Africa in this campaign. Mostly because there's just so much, there's so much, um, it's just too far away between settlements and it just takes forever to get anywhere. And then you have an army tied up, like just marching around to like these few settlements down here to take them out. Now, fortunately, it does look like the Scipii are really getting on the job now. Uh, they do have some siege equipment, so they should take Carthage, which should also eliminate this... Senate mission that, honestly, I wasn't going to complete anyways, so the Scipii are being doubly useful. And also, I see this smaller force over here. It looks like it's actually going to head west, so I wonder if the Scipii are actually going to not just be satisfied with Carthage, but will actually start attacking Numidia more over here. Now, with that being said, we're not going to completely ignore Numidia ourselves. I do have a fleet preparing here. I think, uh, yes, one more ship. And then we are going to take the fight to the Numidian Navy and basically just find all of their ports and probably the Spanish ones too and just start destroying fleets and blockading ports and just generally making life a real pain for them as they have made life a pain for me. All right, so anyways, which one shall we do first? I think we'll do this one first. It's going to be the smaller of the two. All right, and they do want to fight, so let's just get right into it then. All right, so the battle begins, and it looks like they are already just retreating back a bit, which is good. That's what I want them to do. Now let's have the war dogs kind of assemble out here. We're going to have the captain behind them because we need him to keep the morale of the trainers up. And we will also have the town watch over here. Well, the town watch that aren't the captain's unit anyway. Looking at their formation, I think war dogs just straight into this unit of Iberian infantry here. I don't remember the Carthaginian roster terribly well, but if I recall correctly, I believe these guys are 
tier two, so I think they're the equivalent of like the Hastati. So I think two units of war dog should be able to munch right through them. And hopefully maybe even once they're done munching them, just get right through to the skirmishers. We'll have the town watch just kind of follow behind and maybe hit flanks. And of course the captain's unit will just stay with the trainers and make sure morale stays high. All right, now it looks like everyone is out. I almost thought the skirmishers were gonna come forward for a moment. It would be kind of nice if we could have the dogs munch on them first, because the dogs should absolutely be able to take them out. And then they won't have any sort of missiles to like throw at us from like the rear or something. But I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll tell them to attack, but we'll tell them to walk. And we'll see if the skirmishers will obligingly start to come forward. And if they do, we'll switch targets to them. Ooh, ooh. Yes, go. Go for the skirmishers. Go get them. All right, get the trainers back. Oh, no, no, trainers. Trainers. All right, get up there. We'll actually have the town watch of the captains even come forward ahead of you. Excellent. All right. Go around the back. Oh, no, no, no. Go. I meant go around, but okay. That's fine, I guess. All right. You guys get over here. Get over here. Oh, no, you guys. What? They're routing? I don't believe it. I mean, I kind of believe it. They're town militia. But still, even so, I think you guys should have done a better job than that. Also, all the war dogs are dead. I can't help but notice. All right. Well. All right. We'll have the trainers do the flanking then instead. Get over here and attack from the flank. Oh no, the skirmishers are going to come back. That's kind of annoying. It's unfortunate that they were able to kill off all the war dogs. I actually thought they would stand... Uh, and fight a little longer than that, if I'm being entirely honest. I'm also... Oh, wait! They're back! Get over here! You filthy cowards! You lost, like, three guys... Oh, okay, you lost more than three guys, but... The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack! I can't believe you guys just immediately started routing. Like, after you, like, lightly brushed against the side of the enemy like that. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. All right, get in there. Yes, kill, kill them. All right, now get in there and attack the skirmishers. Yay! Ah, uh, things were a little hairy there for a minute. And by a little hairy, I mean quite hairy, actually, to be honest. Um, I actually totally thought we were going to lose there. You guys are going to receive a stern reprimand. 
You filthy cowards! That is the right unit, right? I think it is. Um, let's see, are we actually gonna kill any of these guys? I guess we will kill some of them. Oh yeah, yeah, they're killing them as they go. I actually don't know... Let's see, how many have we killed? They only have 16% left. I actually have no idea what the threshold is for them just disintegrating as a force once they've uh, lost a battle. Ah, if only I had cavalry that could sweep in here, but I don't know. The trainers are doing a pretty good job here, killing off these Iberian infantry. The skirmishers are, yeah, they're going to make it because, I mean, they're light infantry, fast-moving skirmishers anyways. I wonder if it's because the war dog trainers are themselves, like, a really light infantry unit that they're able to, like, catch up and cut up some of these Iberian infantry. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly... Hooray! That could have been worse. Could have been better, too, but anyway, let's get back to the campaign map. All right, so we're back on the campaign map. Hopefully these guys will retrain before this next force comes in. I don't know that they will, though, because I think they need a turn in order to train up. You know what? Let's just in case we can, let's see if we can get a cavalry unit as well. Just to try and help make the odds even more in our favor. All right, but anyways, let's move right over to Elysia and take out this force. Which shouldn't be too bad. Actually, they'll probably retreat, and indeed they did, but not far enough, I'm afraid. So let's just jump right into the battle map. All right, so there's the Britons there. And I don't think this is a very good idea, to be honest, but they seem to be charging forward. That seems pretty standard these days, though, for the AI. Slingers I'm a little worried about, since they're their only ranged unit. And actually, the Slingers have, uh, I think, a much better range, too, than these Skirmishers that we've dealt with in the past. Though at the same time, I don't think they have the range of our Archers. We'll also want to take out the War Dogs as well, of course. And, yep, there's the Captain. Oh, here comes the sling. Oh, nope. The slingers are not coming forward. They, they thought about it. They were thinking about it. But they decided against it. You know, I noticed this in... I can't remember which battle it was now. But you see how the unit, like, what kind of swung its left flank forward and then back, forward, and back... Like, I don't know what purpose that serves, to be honest, but they just did it again. Okay, now the slingers are firing. It looks like we're actually going to take some casualties. Yeah, see, look, see, see how they just put their left flank forward, and then they're going to move back, and maybe even throw their right flank. No, no, they're not going to put their right flank forward, but you see what I mean? Like, what, what is, why did you do that? What is the purpose of having just done that? And now we see this unit's putting its right flank forward, and then it's going to assume its position again. Like, are they trying to dodge the arrows? And this one has just, like, left the battle line altogether. It just kind of swung its white right flank back. I mean, technically, I guess any arrows being fired at this unit here are now not going to hit this unit's, like, right flank, I guess. Ooh, we're taking casualties. I wonder from whom. I guess that loose formation is definitely saving them some casualties. I wonder, could we... Here, let's have you guys fire at them, and you guys fire, I guess, nowhere. What we're gonna do is just have... 
Actually, not that unit. This unit here. Come forward and just attack them right here. Except I, I kind of want you to hit the part that's not being protected. Okay, the slingers are now routing. That is what we wanted. Of course, they may come back, but I don't know. They don't have a lot of guys, so probably not, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys, get back in line. I guess what we could do... Grab this cavalry unit here. Also, I just realized I didn't I don't have my hoplites in phalanx formation. I'll have this barbarian unit here just kind of go around here. I'll just kind of assemble over there. Oh. What happened to that unit? Oh, is it because I can't see over the hill? That could be it. Alright, it looks like they're going to retreat out of range of our arrows. Okay, nope, they're still routing. Okay, good. We'll just have this cavalry unit. You guys just kind of sit over there, that's fine. Alright, now for the rest of you... Let's have you just kind of move, let's say, there, but walk, so that you don't leave the hoplites behind. Well, it's kind of nice that we're distracting this unit of swordsmen, too. Okay, can you guys... Yes, you can hit the captain. Actually, hit the war dog unit, please. Okay, you... You have to hit the, uh, the captain, so I guess that's fine. Or can't hit the war dogs, rather, so that's fine. Alright, so the skirmishers got away. It occurs to me I could have probably just sent that cavalry unit to run them down, but... It's fine. It's not important. Alright, but anyway, it looks like we should be good now, so I'll just uh, let the archers run through their ammunition. In fact, why don't we switch to fire, just for the heck of it. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back as soon as... Uh, as soon as it's time to charge. All right, so every arrow has been fired. We're still in kind of a staring contest with the cavalry over there, so now it is time to send the dogs forward to kill the other dogs. Just kind of have the archers sit back here. And then I'm sure... They'll probably break somewhat quickly, so then we'll have the cavalry kind of sweep in behind the dogs. Stay over here by the general. Because that's the general, right? Yes, yes he is. Alright. Four dogs, trainers, over here. Alright, and then we'll send the cavalry forward. Okay, and trainers again. Over, over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Kind of vaguely near where the general is. All right. 
right, and those guys are routing. Actually, you know what? Let's just grab all of the cavalry. And for some reason, these guys are actually coming into the fight here. So, oh, there we go. So the spirit of his army is broken too. The enemy generally slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. All right, let's have a few different cavalry units just smack right into these swordsmen here. Actually, you know what? Full cavalry charge, everyone into the swordsmen. And there they go. All right, let's get a couple of cavalry units over there. A couple over here. Actually, let's have a couple of you attack War Dog unit on the side there. And there we have it. Victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Indeed it is. All right, so let's just get right back to the battle, or the campaign map, rather. Victory and glory! Victory and glory, indeed. All right, well, I guess that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, maybe we'll bring you in when we have to go sally out and take out this group as well. Or maybe we'll be attacking Batavadorum very soon. But regardless, I will bring you back as more of interest occurs. All right, so welcome back. We only have a couple of small battles to fight. In fact, it might just be one, depending on which way the cards fall. But I just wanted to point out before we go to those battles that Carthage has finally been taken by the Skippy Eye. They did send a somewhat sizable force over here, so I am hoping that they'll continue into Numidian territory. Though I am still going to send my fleet down here to blockade ports of theirs and the Spanish. Um, I do believe that if I'm looking at the color of the borders correctly, this actually might be Carthage's settlement right here. Uh, this spy is going to... Oh, actually, he can move there now. Moving. Can we Moving. have you just kind of... Can, can, can we... Secrecy is assured. Okay, so no, that is not Carthaginian. It is Spanish, though it is under siege. Probably by the Carthaginians, actually. Unless... Wait a minute. Are they still at war? No, no, not that. Uh, Carthage. Yes, okay, so I think the Carthaginians are actually besieging Carthaga... Carth... Carth Carthago Nova? New Carthage? They're besieging New Carthage here, so... They might actually take that away from Spain. So one might wonder, Spain, why you aren't sending forces to, you know, deal with Carthage. One may wonder further why you are picking a fight with Rome when you were already having a fight with Carthage. You hadn't finished off your other enemy yet. Well, whatever. Anyways, the couple of small battles that we may or may not fight kind of depends on what we see here. See, I can't actually see what units they have, but I think I can have these guys sally out just to see what they've got, and we can decide if we want to take them. We were able to retrain, as you can see, and we did get our one unit of cavalry, so I'm feeling a little more confident about taking them out. There's also a small force of Gauls over here, but I'm not terribly worried about them. If they come for Narbo Martius, we can take them out. Um, the other battle to fight is this little force of Brits over here. I don't know, he must have been hiding over here or something because he managed to slip behind my lines and he attacked these two mercenary units. So I just retreated back a bit. Now, these are not good units at all, and I had all I had was these town militia here, so I was a little nervous about attacking them because I know he's got a chariot unit and I could just see him routing all of my militia and maybe even the barbarians too. 
So what I did was is I took Marcus out of the army. I sent the army to go ahead and besiege Batavadorum under Lucius the Killer. And uh, basically, I grabbed a couple of mercenaries, and I think with this force, we should, regardless of what they have, be able to take them out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Actually, we're going to do this one first, I think, just to see if we're going to fight it at all. Let's see what they've got. Oh, they've got one cavalry unit of their own. Some almost naked fanatics. And some war dogs. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I think we could actually take that out. And that way we could be ready for the Gauls or whatever new force the Spanish send against us. So yes, let's go ahead and fight that one right now and hope that I'm not making a mistake. Okay, welcome to the battle. So, I'm not sure where they're going. Though, I kind of want to get my cavalry out there quickly and see if maybe I can catch the war dogs with a charge. That would be kind of nice if I could do that. I was going to send him out last, but if we can get those war dogs and just get them routing, that would be nice. And then let's get our own war dogs out here. All right, get over there. Oh, it looks like the war dogs actually turned around to fight. All right, they're pretty far away from their general, though, so I think we should be able to just route them right away with a charge. And indeed we have. Good, so that takes out one of their units. Whoa, we took a casualty or two there, though. Okay, actually just walk back here. All right, so infantry here, war dogs here, cavalry just kind of vaguely here. So we'll send in the war dogs first to soften them up. Keep the trainers near the, well, I guess we'll kind of keep them near the cavalry as much as we can. Because we kind of need our, our cavalry to do some flanking maneuvers here. Still, wow, look at how many. I mean, we routed them basically instantly, and yet we still lost horses to the, uh, the dogs, presumably. They're withdrawing! No! No! You cannot withdraw! Four dogs. Oh, shoot. Hold on. As much as I want to chase them, if I catch them, like... There's no guarantee of victory. I don't have, like, an overwhelming numerical advantage or anything. Could at least try and get the fanatics, though. In fact... See, where's the edge? Okay, it's way over there. Okay. I think we can at least get the fanatics to turn around and fight. And we only need to hold them long enough for the... For... What? What the heck was that? All right, charge back! Charge back! Charge back! Why aren't you charging? Get a move on! Hurry! Holy smokes. First they don't charge, and then they don't retreat. Okay, the war dogs have been unleashed. Apparently... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, are they not going to turn around and face the dogs? I, I, I kind of think they should. All right, cavalry over here. 
and attack. In the rear. Good charge this time, please. Thank you. Whoa! Holy crap! Enemies' hearts are full of fear, and now they flee! Again, I know this isn't like a really good cavalry unit, but holy smokes, you just charge them in and they instantly lose. I mean, in the rear of their unit, might I add. And they lose like 20 guys. I guess I was wise to be rather wary of having them do anything too, <laughs> too strenuous. Um, are you guys going to charge forward and kill them? Do you need help? Do you need help? Looks like you need help. Wait, there's two of them. Where's the other guy? Oh, well, no wonder they're confused. Alright, there we go. Now go kill that guy. Yeah, but anyway, I think if they had charged into, like, a Spear Warband unit, they would have taken less casualties. And the War Dogs were also able to do quite a number on them, too. Ready. This is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms! You say so. <laughs> I wonder what that cavalry unit is going to do since they managed to get away. Well, I guess we'll go back to the campaign map and find out. All right, so we are going to retrain that cavalry unit, and we're going to train up one more since they're a little fragile. Looks like he is retreated back into Spain, though he'll probably... Well, actually, will he be back? I guess not by himself. He'll probably need a unit or two from elsewhere before he'll have a battle with us. But anyway, the next thing we need to do is see if we can kill off this force here. We won't have any war dogs as sacrifices, but we will have barbarian dogs as sacrifices. And also peasants. Roman peasants, but peasants nonetheless. So let's see if we can get them to fight us. Oh. Wow, they really are just going to go ahead and fight us. Okay, and we're going to have reinforcements. Just realized um, we should probably do that and then attack. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. Am I short some, some forces? Yes, I am, aren't I? All right, so. Um, let's see. AI control disabled. It'll be under your direct command. Yes, I want them under my direct command because we have enough slots that I can control everyone. They have head hurlers. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, anyway, let's get right to the battle. All right, and welcome to the battle. So, we have our sacrificial peasants out in front. And our reinforcements are coming in from the rear here. Or at least some of them are. Let's have this unit come on over here. We have some guys over here as well. It looks like they're not attacking yet. I, I don't think they have the greatest range. Okay, let's wait for them to move forward just a bit. All right, so what I think we are going to do is the biggest threat is these guys. I think by, by a fairly wide margin. So I think we need to send in... See, I don't think that the Barbarian Mercenaries will actually do very well against them. I mean, I know they're Spear Wielders, as are, like, all of these guys back here and such, but at the same time, I, I don't think they're going to do very well, is all I'm saying there. Um, let's have you guys kind of go over here like that. Will you actually follow the line, though? Because I remember the last time I tried this, it didn't seem to work. Okay, good. See, what I would like is for the cavalry unit here to actually take out these head hurlers. Because I think they should be able to take them out. And that'll free up some more spearmen to attack the chariots. 
So, spearmen here going forward, spearmen from the back, spearmen from the side. Though they may have to kind of do double duty with the swordsmen, but then we also have the militia kind of behind them, just providing more bodies to throw into the meat grinder, as it were. But I think it only works if we take out the head hurlers first and then have the spearmen be able to attack the chariots from behind. I guess the general could possibly also assist, because like once the chariots get tied up, maybe he could attack the swordsmen from the rear, or maybe even the barbarian cavalry could do that. Uh, what are they doing? Actually, um, I think it'd be better if you guys bunched up. Okay, you start walking forward, and the general will walk behind you. You guys also walk. You guys also walk. Because I don't know, he might actually move once we attack the head hurlers. Alright, barbarians run. Get in there and tie them up. Okay, they're routing. Good. So now get in there. Oh, dear. All right, I guess all of you attack the chariots. General, attack them in the rear. Barbarian cavalry over here. Or not cavalry. The warband, get over there and assist. Come on, get over here and attack from the rear. Oh, he's running! The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Okay, well, I have to admit, I didn't actually expect the general to run that quickly. Unfortunately, it looks like he lived though. All right, we did sacrifice quite a few to those chariots, but it's okay. Peasants and dogs, peasants and dogs. There's always more of them. And they're going to get away. So anyway, that did not go so badly. Oh, we have um, neglected that unit. Get over there. Oh, shoot, they're going to get away. Hmm. That's a little unfortunate, because I think... They'll probably still be around as a force then, both the remains of the general's bodyguard and the remains of those head hurlers, so I might have to go chasing after them. <laughs> 196. Uh, let's see, we lost... I guess they were mostly barbarian dogs of various types. That peasant, those those mere peasants there lost quite a few as well, but oh well. It is fine. That is what peasants and dogs are for. All right, yes, it looks like they retreated over in that direction. A much smaller force than they were before, but still, 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 you know what I mean. All right, so... Who can we send over there? We can send you over there. And holy smokes, are they unhappy about that decision. Well, let's see. These barbarians cannot reach Mogun Tiakum, so we can just send them in there. Then we shall retrain them so that they can replenish their ranks. 
and no one here can move except for the cavalry. So I guess we'll continue heading north with, I guess, basically this force just to go and finish them off, possibly next turn. See, these guys can reach by next turn, but I think... Oh, you know what? I would actually like a cavalry unit in there. So we'll have a cavalry unit, and that should be enough to take out whatever they've got there. Well, maybe. Maybe. I, I don't think I'm very good at judging these things, because I've been quite sure that, oh yeah, I can absolutely take out these guys with a rear charge or a flank, only for it to turn out to not work out very well, but then at other times it works out very well, so I guess we'll see. But in any case, that's it for now, guys, so I will bring you back as something of interest occurs.